Hello guys, in this video I will explain you what gprof, what is gprof and how to use that. So basically gprof is a profiling tool which we use in normally C++ based code and C based code and it is used in uh, Linux based environment and so we'll uh, get to know about like which function are uh, uh, taking so much time and we can optimize that function and we will also get to know about which function is calling which function uh, so that we can generate the call graph from that and we will uh, like you know uh, this function is calling uh, this much time like this function is calling thousand times and by that we can like uh, reduce the number of iteration of that function and we will get to know about uh, this function is taking that much milliseconds or microseconds per call so this is a very good profiling tool so yeah so let's get start and see how it works so i've already created a c code that we have to profile so in this code we have uh, two C files one is main.c and one is foo.c as you can see and one header file foo.h so uh, we are having uh, two functions in main.c file function main and function to main and foo.c we are having also two functions function foo and function to foo and in foo.h I have uh, declared this function I have the declarations like function foo and function to foo so now what we are going to do is uh, we are calling these functions uh, function main and function to main and function foo this is from foo.c and function main and function to main are from the main.c file as you can see here so in function main what I am doing is I am doing this uh, modulus operation so this is the for loop I have I'm iterating from i0 to i less than 1 lakh so I'm doing the modulus operation here and I'm doing this 1000 times into 1 lakh okay and in function to main I'm calling the function to foo that is from foo.c source file so let's go to foo.c so in function foo, uh, I am doing multiplication operation as you can see k equal to i into 5 so I am having the same number of iterations from j 0 to j 1000 and i 0 to y less than 1 lakh and in function to foo, I am doing the addition operation with same number of iteration ok so this is the code structure first I am calling the function main this one then I'm calling the function to main then function to main calling function to foo and then I call function foo okay so to uh, enable the profiling we have to we have to set one flag in while compilation in GCC as let me show here so I have uh, in three files here foo.c foo.h and main.c okay so for compilation I have to write GCC minus pg pg minus pg is the uh, flag to enable the profiling then the name of the output file that would be main and the name of input files that is main.c and foo.c hit enter so yeah um, building is done now let's see yeah as you can see we have generated output file if i run this file then we will generate some intermediate file called gmon.out as you can see here so uh, using this file we will generate some report uh, profiling report so for that uh, we have to use gprof tool so for the documentation of gprof you can type gprof minus h you can like like it will give you like how to use this so in our case firstly what we have to do is gprof the name of the g uh, name of the intermediate file that is gmon.out name of the executable that is main and we have to write the report in report.txt file okay so we have to write down the name of that file Okay, sorry firstly we have to give the name of the executable then yeah 
both runs. As you can see, we have generated report.txt file. So if I get this, so yeah, this is the profiling report. So in this, uh, as you can see, uh, oh, we have like uh, time, cumulative seconds, self second calls, self millisecond per call, self millisecond per call. Okay, and this is the name of the functions. So we have uh, four functions in this: function main, function foo, function to foo, and function to main, as uh, we saw in the source code. Okay, so you will get the information like uh, the description of these terms here, like. A percentage which is the time cumulative second self second so i will give give you some brief uh, this is like a percentage of time like how uh, much percentage this function consume like this function main consume the 45 percentage of the execution so it means it uh, takes a lot more time than other function and the function foo takes 30 percent so we by that we will get to know uh, that we will get to know that function may take uh, more time than uh, other functions so we have to concentrate more on this function okay and uh, this is the cumulative seconds so it is a self second so this function takes 0 0.09 seconds function foo takes 0 0.06 seconds to execute and function to foo takes 0 0.05 and function to main almost negligible so these are called only one time so this is the uh, millisecond per call like how much milliseconds they take in one call okay so these are the same uh, because they have called only one time so this so when we convert this to millisecond then it will, we will get this term then we will have a call graph so like which function is calling uh, which function so we can get to know about that from here like uh, as you can see uh, main is calling function main and function foo and function to main as function main, function to main, function foo. Okay. And then this is the same. And function to main is calling function to foo. As we can see here. So this verifies here. Okay, and we will also get to know about the timings and percentage of this and how many times they are called like uh, main takes uh, zero seconds because uh, main itself doesn't do any work only their children do work their children are this function main function foo and function to main so their children takes 0 0.2 second all over okay and function main uh, doesn't have any children as you can see function main does uh, is not calling any other function so they it doesn't have any children but function to main has one children fun that is function to foo okay so if we go to function to foo that is oh, sorry function to main that is here so it has one children that is function to foo so it's taking 0 0.05 seconds to call so you will get to uh, like uh, know more about the details you know, if you read this documentation. So this is a really good documentation. You should read that. Yeah. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching this. See you soon.